Good morning, little buddies. This is the week of May 18th to May 16th. Here's a joke for you. When you look for something, why is it always in the last place you look? Because when you find it, you stop looking. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some being a barrel buddy. This week in history, on May 10th, 1869, the pre- presidents of the Union Pacific and the Central Pacific Railroads meet in prom- Promontory, Utah, and divide ceremony last bike into the rail line that connects their railroads. This is the tra- transcontinental railroad travel possible for the first time in U.S. history. No longer would western-bound travelers need to take the long, dangerous journey by wagon train, and the West would surely lose some of its wild charm with the new connection to the civil- civilized East. Celebrations this week. May 10th, Mom Without Shoes Day. May 11th, Eat What You Want Day. May 12th, International Nurses Day. May 13th, Frog Jumping Day. May 14th, Chicken Dance Day. May 15th, Bring Flowers to Someone Day. And May 16th, Drawing Day. Buddies are brave. This week we are focusing on the letter A for Achiever. One way you can be an achiever, be an achiever, is by to try some to try to learn something. All right, this week is the week to start bringing everything back to the library. You will start getting emails from me with lists of books that need to be returned to the library. And I want to remind you again: if you see a book on your list that you don't know what it is, the best thing to do is to Google that title and see what it looks like. Most of the time, when you see the picture of the cover, it helps you remember the book. We also need you to look for all chargers that you might have at home from virtual learning. So if you have extra iPad chargers that you did not bring back to school, it's time to bring them back because without chargers, our iPads don't work. So make sure you look for iPad chargers, Chromebook chargers, and let's try to get everything um, like that turned in this week. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. We are ready for a great week ahead at Barrow Elementary School. I just want to highlight that last week was an awesome teacher appreciation week. And I think we should continue to appreciate our teachers all year long for the rest of the school year because they are doing so so many awesome things to celebrate the end of the year and plan fun activities for you. Last week, our teachers packed up all your books for keeps books and got those sent home. So you have lots of summer reading. They're planning spirit days so you to enjoy your last few days with your classmates. Um, They planned a dance for our fifth graders last week and lots of other fun activities. So I wanna just say thank you to our amazing Barrow staff who worked so hard um, to make our school year be the best it can be. So thank you teachers. I'm looking at this week ahead. We have our iReady math assessments this week. So we're all gonna be taking iReady to see how much we learned in math this year and check our growth on that. As Mr. Plemons said, your library books are due, so make sure that you're looking for those and bringing them back to school. And then I also just wanted to highlight that we have three teachers or staff members who are gonna be retiring at the end of the school year. And we're gonna have a special reception to honor them. And these are teachers or people that you may have had at Barrow or interacted with over the years. And really think about how special these three ladies are who've been at Barrow for a very, very long time and given a lot of their um, time and creativity and love to Bear School. One person who's retiring this year is Miss Hicks. Miss Hicks is a teacher in our Spectrum team. She's worked with many, many different grade levels, many students. She was a first grade teacher long ago um, and she will be retiring at the end of this school year. So we want to honor her. 
Ms. Samuel, who has been a pre a kindergarten parapro, will be retiring at the end of the year. And she has been a wonderful assistant in our classrooms and helping students with their reading and learning letters and math skills. And so we are um, happy to honor her this year. And Miss Renee in the cafeteria, who's been feeding us nutritious lunches for many, many years. She's going to be retiring at the end of this year. And so all of these um, staff members will be honored this week at a special reception for them. Um, and we are really excited to excited for them um, and would love to just hear about the great things they're going to do when they leave Barrow School. So um, once a Barrow Buddy, always a Barrow Buddy, Miss Hicks, Miss Samuel, and Miss Renee. All right, let's check out birthdays. Happy birthday this week to Rodriana Clark, Noor Mohammed, Alexia Gil Chavez. Olivier Voidovich Walter, Sidoria Walter, and Bella Summers. And to our staff members, Ms. Freeman, Ms. McDaniel, Ms. Evalobo, and Mr. Prince. We have some shout outs. Ms. Brevard's class, Brevard's class for working hard at showing how brave they can be every day. Ms. Brevard would also like to give a shout out to Jack Whetstone and Susanna Grace Moore for being great examples of how to be brave every week. They both consistently earn 50 do dojo points for a treasure box each week. Ms. Freeman wants to give a shout out to Anna Ford for being a responsible, brave buddy. She's always ready to learn and is so great at tracking the speaker. I also wanna give a shout out to William for being a great role model as our line leader last week. Ms. Vaughn has a shout out for bus 325. Always so patient and peaceful when she checks off their names. They have also been great with the substitute bus drivers. Good job, Bus 325. Crew 122 wants to shout out some responsible crewmates, Gustavo and Violet, for always making sure their space is clean. Ronnie and Garrett for being quiet in line and not needing reminders about masks. Andrea and Hodges for also keeping their masks on. AJ for cleaning up after snack and for remembering the ball at recess. And Milani for making more choices to help keep us focused on learning in class. Shout out to team 119 for an amazing year. We have been through so many challenges and I'm so proud of your resilience and perseverance. Thank you to all the members of the fourth grade family for being so brave. We hope you have a great week at Barrow School. What breed of dog can jump higher than any buildings? Any dog, because buildings can't jump. Before we leave, let's say our Barrow honor code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Have a nice week.